Waffle House is a restaurant chain that opened in 1955. Thank you for your suggestion. Joe Rogers Sr. was born the son of a railroad man who was laid off during the Great Depression. After his father's layoff, Rogers went to work throwing newspapers and delivering laundry to contribute to his family's income. Joining the Army Air Corps during World War II, he learned how to fly and train B-24 pilots, eventually earning the rank of captain. When the war ended, Rogers went to work for Frederick Smith in the Tottle House Corporation. Rogers began his restaurant career at the Tottle House in New Haven, Connecticut, where he learned the art of short order cooking and honed his customer service skills. He was rapidly promoted to senior manager in Philadelphia, then less than a year later to the Southeast Division Manager in Atlanta. When he moved to the Atlanta area, he bought a house in Avondale Estates right next door to Forkner, a real estate professional. Tom Forkner had joined the military and served in the military intelligence and security based out of Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Drafted into the army in 1941, he covertly worked to transport valuable products from a Tennessee facility to Los Alamos. He eventually was sent to work on the infamous Manhattan Project, where he served until heading home and taking his place with his family's real estate business. The pair met in 1949 when Rogers moved to Georgia. Wanting to do something different and create an environment where friends and family could come together and eat, they opened a 24-hour diner-style joint in their Atlanta suburb and painted the sign bright yellow to attract the eyes of drivers. That friendship grew into a 60-year business partnership bound by only a handshake. The first Waffle House opened on Labor Day weekend in 1955 at 2719 East College Avenue in Avondale Estates, Georgia. Roger's concept was to combine the speed of fast food with table service with around-the-clock availability. Forkner suggested naming the restaurant Waffle House as waffles were the most profitable item on the 16-item menu. Rogers continued to work with Tottle House and, to avoid conflict of interest, sold his interest to Forkner in 1956. Waffle House made a name for itself during the late 1950s and 1960s by living up to its promise of good food fast, which became one of the company's mottos. Waffle House located many of its restaurants along interstates and truckers and travelers came to know that the Waffle House sign meant good food and friendly service. The Waffle House menu of Southern Fare had changed very little since the 1950s. The restaurant still emphasizes their famous T-bone steak, waffle and egg meals, and claims to have America's best coffee. Meals that become a tradition at Waffle House included the king-size T-bone and steaks dinner, which included a 10-ounce steak, hash browns, and two eggs. Other signature menu items included pecan waffles, Burt's chili, raisin toast, and cheese and eggs. Waffle House took particular pride in its hash browns, which it served six different ways. Scattered on the grill, smothered with onions, smothered with cheese, chunked with hickory smoked ham, topped with chili, and diced with fresh tomatoes. The yellow Waffle House sign became a familiar landmark along streets and highways across the southeast, signaling the restaurant would stay open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The Waffle House also began franchising its name and concept to individual operators in 1960, which allowed the company to expand without assuming heavy debt and without having to sell shares to the public. The company eventually spread outside of Georgia's borders and entering neighboring states including Alabama, Louisiana, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Florida. At the U.S. interstate system expanded through the southeast during the 1950s and 1960s, 
New Waffle House outlets were added along major arteries like Interstate 75, which trails from the southern tip of Florida through Tennessee to northern Michigan, and Interstate 85, which traverses Virginia and extends southwest into Alabama. Waffle House eventually built up a network of several hundred restaurants throughout the southeast. Under Rogers and Forkner's leadership, the Waffle House chain grew to 400 restaurants by the end of the 1970s. It was in the late 1970s that they stepped out of the day-to-day -day running of the business. During the 1970s and 1980s, the roadside restaurant market became dominated primarily by two styles of eateries, fast food chains like McDonald's and Burger King, and large sit-down restaurants like Shoney's and Cracker Barrel. The traditional diner-style eatery, in contrast, declined in popularity, with the chief exception of Waffle House. By 1987, Waffle House had 351 franchisees in addition to its network of company-owned stores. It was also reported that Waffle House employed a workforce of 4,500 people. In the late 1980s, Waffle House was operating in 10 states, Alabama, Arizona, Louisiana, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, Oklahoma, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Texas. During the 1990s, Waffle House restaurants looked much the same as they did 40 years before. An exposed grill was located behind the long counter at which customers could still sit on stools. Other guests were seated in the booths that lined the restaurant. Waffle House continued to advertise solely through word of mouth, relying on its local clientele instead of promotion to reach new customers. The restaurant chain was opening restaurants and existing markets and branching out into Arkansas, Colorado, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, Tennessee, and Virginia. Interestingly, the stores in Indiana were named Waffle and Steak because the Waffle House name was already being used when Waffle House Inc. entered that state. Waffle House celebrated its 40th anniversary in 1995 by opening unit number 1000, the chain's 1000th store. By 2002, there were more than 1,375 restaurants in 25 states. In fiscal 2003, that number climbed to more than 1,400 units, with sales topping out at $410 million. In 2007, the Waffle House repurchased the original restaurant, which had been sold by the chain in the early 1970s. The company restored it using original blueprints for use as a private company museum. The museum is used primarily for internal corporate events and tours. The founders of the Waffle House brand died in 2017 within less than two months of each other. Joe Rogers Sr. died on March 3rd, and Tom Forkner on April 26th. Today, the Waffle House has over 1,920 locations in over 25 states. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Yeah, bringing back memories from the good old days. That's super cool, man.